Last year, the Steelers made it to the playoffs with a solid 10-win record. Looking back, it's impressive. They had a 35-year-old quarterback, a Super Bowl champion, and a nine-time Pro Bowler. This guy hardly ever turns over the football and doesn't beat himself. That's the kind of player any team would love to have. And the Steelers? They made sure to secure their team in every move they made. They went and got Patrick Queen for the middle linebacker spot, doubling down on what makes Pittsburgh Steelers football great. Defense. Queen is going to bring great value to their team. Think about it. With guys like Hayward and TJ Watt, the Steelers are building something strong. Let's talk about the Steelers a bit more. They've been making moves all offseason, and so far, I'm loving every single one. They traded and signed free agents to fill in the gaps, making this team look even better than last year. Sure, they're not perfect, but they're definitely in a better spot. Plus, they've got a bunch of young talent that's only going to get better. And guess what? The draft hasn't even happened yet. We all know how good the Steelers are at picking up talent during the draft. That's only going to make them stronger in key areas. This team is on the verge of something big. If you're a Steelers fan like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on any Steelers news this offseason. Let's refocus on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last season, they made it to the playoffs and even had a chance to beat the Bills, although they fell a bit short. Now, you might think it wasn't the season they planned, but considering they had to start their third-string quarterback, it was quite an achievement. Most teams struggle with their third-string QB, but not the Steelers. Coach Mike Tomlin always finds a way to win, no matter the circumstances. Just imagine what he'll do with a competent roster. We've seen him lead the team to a Super Bowl before, and now the Steelers are building a roster he can work wonders with. It wasn't just injuries holding them back. Their offensive coordinator, Matt Canada, wasn't cutting it. But getting Arthur Smith was a step in the right direction. They've added talent to the team, especially on offense, where they needed it most. Speaking of offense, let's talk quarterbacks. The Steelers didn't just get one this offseason. They got two Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. That's a huge upgrade that's going to make a real difference. No matter who ends up starting, it's definitely an upgrade from last year. Personally, I'm leaning towards Justin Fields. He's young with loads of potential. With the right coaching and time to develop, he could become the franchise quarterback the Steelers need. Russell Wilson, on the other hand, still has plenty of gas in the tank, as we saw last year with the Broncos. Choosing him for a one-year stint could give Fields the chance to learn and grow before taking on the full-time role. I'm sure Coach Mike Tomlin will allow a quarterback battle to happen. That's just the kind of guy he is fair and determined so regardless of who starts in week one the quarterback position is upgraded and let's talk about the weapons george pickens is entering his third season and he's already proven he can be a top receiver he's not only great at running routes but also excels at making those tough catches adding kuz watkins to the mix is exciting too sure he hasn't had a ton of production yet but he's one of the fastest players in the NFL and has heaps of untapped potential. With Kuz Watkins joining the team, his speed brings a new dimension to the offense. Speed like that is always a threat to the defense and could play a bigger role than people realize. He'll complement guys like Van Jefferson and Calvin Austin well. And while our receiving core isn't the flashiest, I'm expecting the Steelers to address that in the later rounds of the draft. Still, our offense will be just fine under Arthur Smith's style. Plus, we've got Pat Futh entering his fourth season, proving he's a solid receiving threat. Arthur Smith loves to run the ball, and we're in good shape at running back. Najee Harris and Jalen Warren form one of the top running back duos in the league. Najee's power and Warren's speed make them a dynamic pair. We might see more of Warren this year, but as long as they keep each other fresh, they'll both have solid seasons. Of course, none of this works without a good offensive line. The Steelers do have some holes to fill there, but I'm confident they'll address them.
Earlier, I mentioned that the Steelers might focus on receivers later in the draft because they'll likely prioritize the offensive line early on. I wouldn't be surprised if they pick someone like Jackson Powers at number 20. This move could allow Bree Jones to shift back to left tackle, instantly solidifying the offensive line. If that happens, I'd feel pretty confident about our offense overall. But let's not forget, defense wins championships. And that's what the Steelers are all about. As long as Mike Tomlin is at the helm, our defense will be strong. And it's not just him. The Steelers' defense is stacked with talent. Look at our defensive line. T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith on the edges with Cam Hayward and the promising Keanu Benton inside. Hayward's still playing at a high level, and Benton showed a lot of promise as a rookie. He's only going to get better. Behind them, we've got a solid linebacker room. I'm really liking our linebacker room, especially with Patrick Queen joining the squad. He's one of the most solid linebackers in the NFL right now, and I believe he'll be a great leader for the group. His experience playing alongside top-notch linebackers and his impressive production speak volumes. I'm confident he'll elevate players like Cole Holom and Landon Roberts. When you combine our defensive line with the linebackers, it's a force to be reckoned with. And let's talk about the secondary Joey Porter Jr. has shown real promise as a rookie, and I expect him to keep improving. He could become one of the best corners in the league. Plus, adding Dante Jackson to the mix strengthens our cornerback group, which needed a boost. Sure, we traded away Deontay Johnson, but Dante Jackson brings skills that will benefit the team. And don't forget about Minka Fitzpatrick, the best safety in football, in my opinion. Pair him with Deshaun Elliott, and our safety duo is downright dangerous. Overall, the Steelers are looking like contenders for the upcoming season. We've got a new offensive mindset that plays to our strengths, plus the leadership of Mike Tomlin. But hey, that's just my take. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think about the Steelers' moves so far and what you expect from them going forward. Catch you in the next video.